Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to February 2022 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed and who like and share my videos because that helps my channel to circulate to more and more individuals just like you who are needing and seeking this information. So thank you. Up first is going to be the new moon on the 1st of February in Aquarius, 12 degrees, 20 minutes. And the full moon will be on the 16th in Leo, 27 degrees, 60 minutes. So those of you who want to check out your natal wheel to see if or how you might be affected, then you will want to check and see any of your planets or your Chiron or your nodes of the moon are conjunct, square, or opposing either Aquarius or Leo. And those that would, planets that would be squaring are going to be either Taurus or, oh, I just drew a blank, Taurus or Scorpio. There we go. <laughs> for, for both Aquarius and Leo, Taurus and Scorpio square, both of them. Okay. So, and then uh, Mercury goes direct on the 4th of February and it will still be in Capricorn, but it will turn into Aquarius on the 15th. Okay, so I believe that is all Sagittarius. Hope you are all doing well. And if this reading isn't right for you this month, that's perfectly all right because each and every one of your natal wheels are specific to you with your planets placements and then the transiting planets for you right now and your natal wheel. So you might want to check out your moon rising or north or south nodes of the moon monthly. Okay. Okay. So for Sagittarius, general reading, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. What is their strongest energy that is assisting them this month? And this reading is good for today is the 29th of January through the end of February, 2022. Whoa, look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, you loser. Okay, you have two. First one up is romantic love. That's number 39, and that breaks down into a three. So those numbers could be significant for you this month. The frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience with and reflection of a conscious love or lover. All right, Ooh, excuse me. That is beautiful, Sagittarians. Okay, for new viewers, this has sacred geometry, which uh, you take your time and look at that as long as you feel necessary because that will assist in opening up your subconscious to this frequency this month. Beautiful. Oh geez, I'm just... <laughs> okay, so what I am getting, because I've never done this before, it's like clumsy. Um, so I'm going to take this. There might be something to this as well, but um, so maybe some of you are like feeling out of sorts, 
you're knocking things over or whatever I'm, as you see what I've done. I don't know. Again, I've never ever in any of my readings ever. And I've been, this is going on. Oh, how, how long have I been doing the readings? It's over a year and a half at least. Okay. So that might be significant for some, someone out there felt necessary to say that. Okay. Number two is conception and that's number 16 and that breaks down to a seven. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. That's beautiful. So you can take a look at that. Okay. Okay, so what I flipped out was this card, Abundance, so the Three of Cups. Look at that. So that's significant. This month for you, absolutely. Again, I have never, ever, ever, and I keep these in the same place. So that's pretty amazing. So Abundance, right off. Romantic Love, Conception, Abundance. And Abundance is going to be different for each and every one of you. Okay, so let's see. Sagittarians, what comes out from my soul deck for you? Very big, big positive month for you, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Right off the bat, again. And I'm getting two threes. I was just drawn to looking at this a number of the romantic love again, which was 39 or is 39. And that breaks down into a three. And here we have the three of cups. So 33 is a master number. Very, very um, creative. It has to do with creativity or the height of creativity. Again, if you don't know what that, um, that master number is all about and what that means, you might want to look that up if that sounds right for you. Oh, and I just got drawn, I'm going to move that one out, to the sign, astrological sign, Saturn. I don't know if you can see that, it's, oh, it's really small, right there under, above my finger there. Yeah, Saturn. And the words that came to me for someone or some of you, Saturn, the planet, however its placement in your natal wheel is letting up for you now. And for those of you that don't know, Saturn is, hold your nose to the grindstone, wherever it, the placement is and whatever zodiac sign that it's in. And it is the authority figure in your natal wheel. So, again, it's letting up now. Saturn is letting up. Okay. All right. So, let me see if there are any other cards. Okay, so what I'm getting first off from this card is that someone 
their eyes are closed. They have two, one person here and one person here, or maybe the same person, but their eyes are closed. First got is you could be thinking a lot, um, keeping to yourself and just in your, just having a lot of different thoughts, positive and negative because of the, the light here I'm getting from in the darkness here. You could be dreaming, having a lot of different dreams, significant, or just um, having to do with all different kinds of positive and negative dreams. And then with the hands out, I, I'm getting that either you are ready to receive something this month. And again, here we go. We're going to have abundance, love, conception. So a lot of you are ready to receive, or maybe you've also been, you've been dreaming about something, or this has to do with a dream or a wish fulfillment for you. And now this now through the end of February is when you will receive this. And I'm also getting, because there are many hands, one, two, three, four hands, open hands, and some are in the light, some are in the darkness, and half and half, some of them. What I'm getting from that is on an astrological point of view, because I am an astrologer, now 27 plus years, that's telling me that wherever you are on your, in your personal work, which astrologically your personal work has everything to do with your south node of the moon. So wherever you are on that journey, you're going to be receiving something positive, again, some type of abundance, some type of romantic love for some of you, again, that is appropriate to where you are right now. How much work you have done um, having to do with your south node right now at this point. Okay, so let's, let me, let's do this and I'll do that. Okay. So let's see what else comes out for Sagittarius for this general reading. Okay. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. What other details to, does Sagittarius need to know for this month of February 2022? Okay. Ace of Wands, wow, yes. Um, a wish or a dream fulfillment this month. Which is just another confirmation of this abundance. Three of Cups that came out very, very uniquely for you, specifically Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see what else. It's going to bring your passion back. Or um, this is something that you've been dreaming about that is very, you, you are very passionate about. It has everything to do with new beginnings. You will be able to start a new beginning of some kind. Okay, what else? For Sagittarius. And you're also, it's going to be very calming and peaceful to your whole system, your whole, your very soul. Whatever this Ace of Wands that you've been dreaming, dreaming about or wishing for or concentrating on and are very passionate about. And then others of you, again, your passion's coming back, which is very, um, it's actually very, it energizes you, but it's very calming and peaceful to your heart and soul at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see what else is very, very, um, you're 
very focused is what I'm getting because these cards, they're not flying out. It's very specific what you are needing. So, or what the information that you, uh, that this reading is going to give you for this month. Page of Pentacles. Okay, yes. Um, again, you have either been healing and you are completed. That healing is complete. Or whatever's coming in, because this is the, the, um, <laughs> page of pentacles, page of pentacles. So it's, um, it's been a long time coming because pentacles, they can be slow energy, but it is, I'm getting the words very precise energy. So again, this is something very precise, something that you are, have been focused on something very specific that you've been asking for, that you've been working towards. It's a very specific type of abundance for you. And again, abundance is very general. And this being a general reading, it's going to be different, of course, for each and every one of you. But you know what you've been concentrating on, what you have been desiring. Okay, what else is I going to say here? Well, let's keep going. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's, there we go. Okay. Four of wands. Seven of wands. So you have already three wands. You are primarily wands. Three wands. Two pentacles. One sword energy okay so so yes whatever you've been working towards again ace of wands this is something that is very close to your heart very uh, you're very determined about and you are going to reach it there is going to be success this is celebration this is union so some of you that are that's what you're wanting is romantic union you're getting it. You're getting it. And you're going to be very, both of you will be very abundant. It's going to be very, very positive union for you. Others that aren't looking for that, whatever it is, you are going, it's that specific abundance. You are going to flourish. It, you are going to be fruitful and very, very happy and reason to celebrate because you've been working hard. Seven of, of wands. You've been working hard, and again, I'm getting determination. And again, some of you have been determined. You've been healing. Both green. Pentacles, page of pentacles, green outfit, and this, this um, seven of wands, green outfit. So that's just another confirmation that you have been healing. You are, and your healing is complete is what I'm getting, too. For a lot of you, your healing is complete. And because your healing is now finally complete, and maybe that's what you've been de determined about, to heal in some way, shape, or form. Well, you've done it. You've done that healing work. And it was hard work. Number seven, spiritual healing is what I'm getting for some of you. And again, those of you who've been working through your South Node or you are working through your South Node, that is a spiritual work. That is a spiritual healing. You've been working, um, bringing out that subconscious blockage that you were given at birth and working through that. And again, whatever, however far along you are, or if you are completed, it doesn't matter what stage of the journey you're in. You are going to be, you're going to have something to celebrate. And it's going to, again, here's the nine of pentacles, very, uh, some type of abundance for you. Nine of pentacles is very abundant and you could very likely, some of you be at the end of your, you know, almost completed this is number nine. So that's almost complete. And to me with the ace of wands, you could be complete, completed that journey. Again, it doesn't matter where you are. You will see abundance. You will see your success and something to celebrate. Page of Swords 
is um, clarity of thought is what I'm getting. Clear, clear mind. Again, that to me is saying you have known what you're wanting. And this other page, it could be something um, tangible that you've been wanting. Something very specific and tangible that you have been concentrating on. Again, these are your thoughts. This is what you've been putting your thinking towards your and you, your clarity and you're clear and you've been clear. And again, it's coming towards you. And some of you, if you don't, if you haven't been as clear, you are going to be clear on that this month. And see, because to me, the Page of Wands is looking back at all of these cards. And so you will be clear on that and you will receive that this month. It's going to be very secure, make you not just feel secure, you will be more secure. If you have security now, you will be even more secure. Okay. Okay, so let's... So let's get some more detail. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted to say, and I didn't say, uh, that some of you were, you aren't secure yet financially, um, abundant wise, and that's coming and it's showing up here, the five of pentacles. So you're coming out of this. This is under the ace of wands. So some of you, you haven't been, abundant and so you are ready for abundance absolutely and it is coming finally finally because some of you what this five of pentacles is telling me is some of you haven't even had your um, basic needs be able to be met it's been very very difficult a very very hard journey for you um, for your tangible anything in your physical environment You've been blocked, but not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes, under the um, Page of Pentacles is the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. So, yes, you now have that clarity, that clear, um, precise um, clarity in your mind, your thoughts. You know what you want, you know where you want to go. So if you didn't before, you definitely, you definitely do now, whether you, it's just recently you've had that clarity or you will um, have that clarity very soon, very soon. Absolutely. This is a certainty. This is a certainty what I'm seeing. So that you um, can bring into your physical environment that which you are needing and desiring that clarity of thought, that um, being able to focus and put your energy on a single or a single thing is what I'm seeing. A single thing, situation, whatever that is, it's you are... Um, Again, focused on it. Okay. Yes, absolutely. You've gained a lot of wisdom, too. You've gained a lot of wisdom. This is the higher hair front, hair font under the four of um, wands. So, yes, whatever you've been 
working through, you've gained a lot of wisdom. And here also, for those that are seeking a union with a partner, it's coming because this has to do with a union. Again, and it's under the four of wands, which is all about union as well. So this is a double, this is union for sure, for sure. It, I mean, it could, I'm, I'm getting also, it could possibly mean a friend for those of you who are already in the romantic union that is right for you. But uh, most of you, I'm getting no romantic union. This is what it is. And maybe some of you just recently, um, that's what you've been working through because you, your union, your romantic union, you had learned all that you could from that partner. And so you parted ways and, and now you've been seeking a new romantic union. Well, it is coming in. Okay. Others of you, you've been single a long time. You've been single a long time because you've been working through your personal work. And the world card is under the seven of wands. So you're ready for your whole new, you're ready for a whole new world and you're about ready to step into a whole new world for yourself, a whole new life. Your world, if it hasn't changed, it's about to, to, to change. Like to me, this is transformation. This is a brand new everything in your world, a complete transformation for some of you. And it's coming now through February, the end of February. You have stripped away, you have dealt with anything that was blocking you in your subconscious. And now you are clear and free, free to live. And again, that's talking about, to me, being an astrologer, that's talking about you work through yourself no properly. And and now your blockages are no more. You've dealt with them. And others of you, um, you're still working through that. And that's great. You keep going. Keep going. You will reach that final destination of that final clearing of your subconscious blockages. So maybe read it again. Maybe you're going to you're going to decide to read your South Node again or listen to me reading your South Node again or both for some of you. And maybe some of you would like me to, you want to know what your South Node is. I would be happy to. I My information and my email address is in this drop down box below this video and every single one of my videos. So you just send me, send me an email and I will absolutely send you a written copy. Maybe some of you want your written copy. Whatever it is, let me know. That's what I'm here for. Okay. So let's get some more for this nine of pentacles, more detail. What might they be receiving? Sagittarius. Again, I was just drawn to the, the bird in this card. He has, he can't see, he has a hood over his head. And so some of this is some, whatever's coming towards you, this could be a very a much a surprise to you because you don't see it coming is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay. So let me, no, let me just see here. One will fly out, but nothing's flying out. Again, it's very, very specific. Okay, all right. So let's see. Yeah, eight of pentacles. So to me, again, this is talking about something you have been working really, really hard at and you have been very focused on and very... Um, your attention, you haven't allowed your attention to be swayed. And so you're going to be rewarded. You're going to be rewarded with this nine of pentacles in some way, shape or form. And it's coming this month, February, Sagittarians. 
So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And, and two, I just draw into the words. The, the word is perseverance or persevere. So you've persevered through some something, something. And now you're going to be rewarded. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. And I was also drawn to, I was, the, with this Nine of Pentacles, the gown, and to me, the symbol on the gown reminded me of, I saw the Venus symbol, astrological symbol. So it's going to be something very, you're going to love. And it's going to be, I also got, um, for some of you, it's, it's going to um, oh, open up your love I just got. But the first thing I got was something very loving. It's going to be very loving for you. And nurturing, just a very loving, unconditionally loving um, gesture or gift. Okay, yes. Like I was saying, with this Page of Swords, for those of you that um, were having you didn't, you didn't, you had a hard time seeing, you didn't have, you couldn't, um, on focusing or whatever you were thinking about, it wasn't clear. You didn't have a clear vision of, um, what you wanted or what you want or whatever that means. Again, just cloudy vision. You weren't sure of something that you've been thinking about or wanting. And um, the Eight of Swords is coming in, showing me that that's just a confirmation for some of you that yes, you've been really stuck. You haven't, your blinders were, see the blinders were on this person's, uh, over those, this person's eyes too. So um, you haven't, you haven't seen things clearly or you couldn't see your way to get unstuck or whatever this is, um, whatever you've needed to focus on, you, you didn't know maybe some of you, well, for those that that is correct for, you will, you will, if you haven't already, if you're not already out of this unclear, uh, this unclear energy, you will be. And maybe for others of you, it's just, you've been stuck. You've known what you wanted, but nothing's been happening and you've been stuck and you haven't seen any way. No, there haven't been any signs to show you that there's a way out. Well, it's coming in and it's going to, it's going to be a surprise. You don't see it coming. You don't see it coming, but it is coming. It's a very, very, very happy surprise. That's very, very that's pretty neat. Sagittarians. Okay. And I was also 33. That's significant for you. If any of you see 33, because I also was drawn to look at the, the clock and 33 is what I saw. And just like I did at the beginning, 33, which is a master number. And you might be seeing 333, um, or 3333 or 33. Again, that's significant. And so you might want to pay attention to when you see those numbers, what you're thinking about, what's going on around you, because that's telling you something. You might be, I was just drawn to say, um, your true love might be right there or about ready to meet that true love. Okay, or some type of abundance with this three card that came out is coming your way. So watch those numbers, watch those signs and synchronicities. Okay, if that sounds right for you. All right, so is there anything else? I don't, that's all I have for you Sagittarians. So until next time. Have a great, terrific, abundant month for you. It's coming. All right. Until next time.